Hideouts here on Belfield Drive. The town of Johnston is getting money from the federal government to buy mm. homes on Belfield Drive that have repeatedly flooded. Good evening, I'm Patrice Wood. And I'm Dan Janik. The approved funding is just over $5 million. The 19's Molly Levine is live at Johnston Town Hall to break this down. Molly? Yeah, Dan and Patrice, I spoke with one family who says this news to them is bittersweet, potentially having to leave the place that they've called home for more than a decade. 14 inches of water. For the past five years, Tanya Nova has been documenting the flooding on Belfield Drive at Johnston. Today we didn't go to work because this morning was frozen. But hopefully... You know, the word is out there and someone will do something about it. Five years from this video and several floods later, Mayor Joe Policina Jr. announcing today they've secured the federal funding from the Natural Resources Conservation Service and a division of the U.S. Department of Agriculture to buy out nine of the homes, NOVA's included. It's mixed feelings, you know, because I'm sad to see my beautiful home go. But at the same time, we can't live like this any longer. The total amount approved is $5,171,587. It will be allocated towards acquisition and restoration efforts, including demolition. The NRCS will contribute 75% of the money, and the town will be responsible for the remaining 25%, assuming every property owner agrees to sell. Nova says she's strongly considering it. I just hope it's a fair market value because houses are very expensive now, interest rates are very expensive, and we would have to start fresh. Here's an example of just one of the homes on Belfield Drive, Zillow estimating it just under 460000 which wasn't far off from the other homes they're hoping to buy. The mayor writing in a statement, our plan is clear, demolish homes, build detention ponds, and reroute water to prevent such incidents. He goes on to say the buyouts are an essential one-time opportunity for residents. Nova acknowledges that, but says it's not going to be easy. A house like this... In today's market, it's going to be very hard to find. Houses are super expensive. And worries that if everyone agrees to sell, $5 million might not be enough. We're in a bad situation. It's not just us, you know, it's it's all of us. But after 14 years, Nova says she believes this is a big step in the right direction and can see the light at the end of the water pump. We need to live a normal life. I think it's about time. It's been 14 years on and off. And the residents affected will get information from the town within the next coming weeks. I'm live from Johnston tonight. Molly Levine, NBC 10 News Night Team.